Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to access the last character of a string. So first off, we need to know what a character is. So a character can be any uppercase letter, any lowercase letter, it can be any symbol, it can be any number, it can even be a space. It's anything that you can type on the keyboard, um, that's a character. So then what's a string? So a string is a word or a sentence that contains any number of combinations of characters. And usually in computer programming, we use these quotation marks to let us know that we're, we're dealing with a string. For example, this string right here, that's the string one, two, three, four. Um, we might be confused and think that that's a number, but if we put it in quotation marks, then we know that we're dealing with a string and not a number in that case. So these are all examples of strings. Um, a string can also just be a bunch of spaces. It can even be empty. if You put nothing in between the quotation marks. So there's two different properties that are important with strings. One is the size or length of the string and one is the indexes. Um, so I like to think of indexes as the blanks of uh, when you're playing hangman. So if, if this word in hangman was a string, then it would have one, two, three, four, five indexes or five blank spaces that each one corresponds to a character. So the tricky thing about indexes though, is that the first index is always zero. So that's for every string. The first index of every string is zero. So, and then you just go up from there. So for example, with the string hello, the first index, the character at the first index would be the index zero and the first character is a capital H. Then index one is an E, index two is an L, index three is an L, index four is an L. So notice that you don't, you have five indexes, but the last index right here, four, isn't index five, it's index four, okay? Because we start from zero. Let's try it with another string. So we have the string John Doe 18, because John Doe is 18 years old. Um, one interesting thing about this string is it has two spaces. Notice that index four and index eight are both just a space, but they still take up an index. That's a character. That's a valid character, which is a space. So again, we start with the index zero and we go zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 10. But notice that the size or length of this string isn't 10, it's actually 11. Again, because we start at zero. So there are 11 characters in this string, which makes it a size 11. So notice that the last index of every string is one less than the size. So if we take the size, which is 11, we subtract one from it, we get 10, which is the last index. The same for this string, hello, we have this string has a size of five because there's five characters in it. One, two, three, four, five. And if, and the last index is a four, right? So if we just subtract one from five, five minus one, we get the last index four. Okay, those are equal to each other. So what we take away from this is that the size of any string that you can possibly think of minus one is the last index of that string or the last character of that string. So let's look at some pseudocode. So if we have a, a variable called my string and we set it equal to hello, the string hello, then my string size, this is the size of the string, which we know to be five, right? And so if we want to get the last index, which is, a, which is an O, we need to just access the index at my string size, which again is this five minus one. So that'd be actually be four. So if we look at this, so if my string is five, this would be five minus one equals four, right? So it would just be accessing the index of my string at index four, which if we look up here, the fourth index is zero, one, two, three, four, which is an O. And that's perfect, that's what we wanted, right? But you're probably asking why don't we just write this then? Why do we have to write my string dot size minus one? Why can't we just say, my string dot index and then just write four because we know that the size is five we know that five minus one is four we, 
we went to first grade, right? Um, but let, let's say this, let's say that I actually, I switched it up on you. I crossed out my string equals hello. It's, not, it's no longer equals to hello. It equals hello, my name is Brian, okay? So if you tried to say my string index at four, it would give you the fourth index, right? Which is an O, but we didn't want that. We wanted the N, right, at index 22. But the computer knows that the size isn't five anymore. It knows that the size is 23. So with this proper way to do it, we know that my string dot size is 23. So 23 minus one equals 22, which is this index, which is the character N, which is the character we wanted, which is the last character of that string. So yeah, that's how you access the last character of a string.